guy under the trees. That's fine. Don't worry about where you're aiming at right now. We're just trying to make sure that everything's set for you and the scope but is good. I'm letting you know that, like, he looks way closer than that. Well, yeah, because this is four power. Now watch this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then we can even adjust. Well, welcome everybody. And, uh, got a little vlog video for you today on our channel. And, uh, as you can kind of see right behind me is range day. So, we were able to pick up a uh, rifle for Steph. We got it on Tuesday, went and picked it up, and uh, now we're coming into the range to sight it in and do a little bit of confirmation shooting for myself on my rifle as well. So, got her the Savage Axis XP uh, 270 model. So, got in the 270 caliber, good caliber for deer, especially down here in Southern California, and then any mule deer or whitetail more than enough and it's a good flat shooting gun so um and one thing that we were looking at was ammo availability so we we're gonna go with the 6.5 creedmoor but ammo is so hard to come by for that so decided to go with the 270 instead um but yeah good all-around bullet caliber and it could shoot antelope deer even ghost shoots milk if we we're gonna shoot some heavier uh grain ammo so we're gonna be uh shooting let's see here we got the barnes vortex all right so 130 grain and uh one thing here in california is we have to go cop we have to be copper or lead free so shooting copper rounds um, for hunting and stuff like that but yeah We'll get out here and uh, get her all set up. We got Steph already behind the gun. We got the scope set and everything like that. And we got the cheek uh, pad set for height. Um, so that way she's comfortable and it's all set up for her. And we can get the most consistency we can out of the uh, rifle. So here we're going to go set up some targets here pretty soon. And then uh, get going on sighting this thing in. Did I hit it? I don't know. Do you see? Did you turn up the power a little bit? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Alright. So, I don't think you're on paper yet. Alright, so. Uh, aim at the sandbag that's holding the target. Okay. That way we can see if it, how high or left or right it is. I think the left and right was Ooh. good. It's just, you were hitting super high. Okay. Uh, go back at the, the target. Okay. Yeah, you've shot here before. You haven't. You've shot here before. It was just to the right of it. I'm gonna aim for the target again. Yep. It looks like you're just at four o'clock in the red. Uh, right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So shoot. Shoot two more. Okay. All right, and let's see if we can get a good group. Okay. All right, so we're just taking a look at our shots here. And uh, we're pretty solid at, at 100. We're hitting, you know, about two to three inches high, but the left and right is good. So now I took a couple shots with her gun at the 200, and uh, we're just gonna take a look at that and see where it's hitting. My binos weren't the best to be able to see out the 200. And, we got the splatter targets, but it's still hard to see. We were just talking about we need to see if we can get some like neon ones or something to help us identify the shots a little bit better. But see how we got. See what we got. That's a Whenever joke. Ready. This is now less capable than the real ways. Okay. 
You hit it. Probably. You want to take another shot at the six? I didn't hear it, but I know you hit it. Well, we are done shooting for the day. Um, I shot after we went and looked at our shots this last time. I came back and I shot two with the, my 30 odd six and at 200 and then I noticed the scope was doing some weird stuff and I think the scope broke. The glass inside seems to be shifting and it's like, I mean the reticle was all over the place and anytime I shook it or did something it would move and shift. So get it to sit set, put a round in and then it would be off. So I'm pretty sure the scope's broken. So instead of wasting time and ammo just shooting it, decided to stop and then we shot a whole box of the 270. So we were playing around, shooting at some of the steel targets and stuff. Um, I mean, she was hitting a steel target at 270, almost 300 yards. So, um, but not the most consistent shooting gun we, we've shot, but um, we can do some things to it to make it more consistent. We're putting, we possibly gonna, uh, one of the things we're gonna do is put a different trigger in it, get a little bit lighter trigger. Um, not such a heavy pull, so that way we can get more consistent uh, triggers. And then uh, putting a different scope on it. It came with a bush now, a 3x12, but we're looking at getting uh, maybe a possibly a Leopold or a Vortex, get a 4x14 or something put on it. But we might do that after the next hunting season. But she was hitting, hitting steel at, uh, I mean, Hit that steel six right there a couple times. That's right at 200 probably. But yeah, come down here and grab our targets that we had out. It was like right at 220 is what the rangefinder was saying. Let's see if we even <laughs> hit them. All right, well you see I'm back at home. So we finished up on the range there and uh, we were still hitting a little bit high at 200, probably two, three inches high, but I was messing with the scope like a dumb dumb um when we were hit playing with the steel targets um the biggest thing is it looked like we we're hitting right so um but she was hitting steel at like 275 and then hitting steel consistently right at like the 180 mark probably 200 um but uh still gonna take it back out to the range one more time before we actually go out hunting but we got to go get some more ammo for that but um yeah the one thing I didn't have that I wish I would have had, it just didn't come in time, was I bought a pair of Harris bipods for that. So they'll be here today, and uh, I'll be able to put those on and take that out to the range next time. Um, that way we can get out there and get shooting on the bipods. So, uh, yeah, she might go back out again. We still have a few weekends until we uh, actually go out and hunt again with the rifle. So she might go back out to the range with me, or I take it out there, get it, get it on, get it close, really good at 200. So, but finishing up and uh yeah that's it so appreciate you guys following along watching this little vlog video uh yeah appreciate it and uh make sure you know hit that subscribe like and do all the things so but until next time all right see you later